Hi, I'm Paul Monaghan and I'm a recovering West Aucklander. I grew up in a culture of girls, fast cars and binge drinking, with a little bit of Bible class thrown in for good measure. I ended up with a significant drinking problem, which I used to self-medicate my anger and my frustration, and I carried this into my marriage. This is not a good recipe for a successful marriage. Actually, my wife wanted to leave after a week of marriage, and I was prepared to wave goodbye with both hands. But God used AA to start me on a spiritual journey. My wife and I gave our lives to the Lord on the same night, 50 miles apart, with the other having no idea what was going on. We both greeted each other at the door and said, I've got something to tell you. We had been going to church for months before this happened. In fact, I was the secretary of the church. I began to grow as a man and a follower of Christ, and God began to work in our marriage. Lifeway Bible College established the fundamentals of my faith. This cemented the relationships within our family. We have continued to grow into a strong and close-knit unit. While at Lifeway, through a divine appointment, I was introduced to Drug Arm, which is an organisation for supporting people with alcohol problems, and I became the founding chairman of Drug Arm West in Auckland. In 18 months, it had become the fastest growing and most diverse drug arm branch in the country, with support services for marijuana and alcohol and actually supporting families. From that, I learned that I was innovative and I was able to lead others to see God's purposes achieved. I went to my first Promise Keepers event in 1994, and I was captured by the vision and I remain so today. I remember hearing Coach McCartney. Almighty God is saying to us, Men, you've been in a war, but you have not been at war. We will go forward from here tonight and contend for the truth. That statement has motivated me ever since. So for over 20 years, I have continued to attend PK events, I have run men's groups, men's events, and overseen men's ministries. I understand that men who are fully engaged in the body of Christ are powerful men. For over a decade, I've been in the same 4x4 group. Together we've been through the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. This Friday, that's where I'll be. Just like cars in a workshop, men need running repairs and maintenance. Over the years, I've found that we have to change our mindset. It's not just men's ministry. It's ministry with men. It goes wherever you go because there's always men around. In today's world, as Christian men, we need to be innovative and proactive to reach others. As a teacher for 35 years, I was able to use that position to bring healing and reconciliation to many men and children. One way this was achieved was to bring dads into our school through the Watchdogs program. At the time, it was unique outside the United States. We were the only school outside the United States to run the program. There was 38 states in the US and Snell's Beach. I've come to appreciate that two men together make a men's ministry opportunity. I'm also a trained life coach which has further honed my skills and experiences. I've experienced life in a variety of ways, the painful, the tedious and the exciting. God is always faithful and he has been to me. I believe he's tailored my journey so that I am well equipped to support you and your men's ministry.